Well, I think you found the scorpions. Uh, it's a, it's a good-looking javelin. Oh my goodness! Look at those, look at those colors, the copper, the chrome. Uh, welcome to the interceptor. This is the fastest javelin in Anthem by far. This thing's, this thing's fucking incredible. The game actually warned me that this is not a javelin for inexperienced pilots. So you want to make sure that you have a. Hey, look, it's another player. Sweet. What's he got, Ranger? Oh, he's got the Iron Man suit. Look at that. Select man. Is he, is he gonna let me check it out? Is he? I, we're circle strafing each other. Ah, uh, I don't know where he is. Well, let's see if he follows us. I'm like, I'm not gonna play chase. He can play chase. Um, yeah. This is not uh, a javelin for inexperienced pilots. You need to have a bit of finesse with the movement. But I mean, for a game like Anthem. Why wouldn't you pick the Interceptor? Now I just I just started playing as the Interceptor and I'm already I'm already in Interceptor camp. Interceptor's best. But if you're playing a game like Anthem where you've got this amazing Iron Man mobility and, and, and speed and flight, why wouldn't you want to take full advantage of that? That's what the Interceptor does. Full advantage. It's insanely fast. It's, it's focused on melee and, and close quarters combat. That's why I'm using a rare machine pistol. And also, oh man, oh god. The graphics of this game are incredible. Wow. By the way, a quick interlude. Um, this is the PC version of the game running at max settings. 60 FPS, 1440p. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh. Oh. You really want to make sure uh, that you take full advantage of flight, man, because this is just incredible. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, if you enjoy the mobility, if you enjoy flight, all that stuff, Interceptor, give it a give it a good consideration. Also, CQC. Holy shit! That's out of demo bounds, though, so... Get back! Get back! It's gonna boot me! Damn it! I flew too close to the sun. On wings of rubber spandex. No, uh, uh, there's no cooldown for melee. I'm gonna go into combat now. We'll go into a mission. We'll check it out. Uh, there's no cooldown for melee. Uh, close quarters weapons are best because of how fast you are. And you're a great damage dealer. So Colossus, uh, oh, hey. There he is. Uh, it's not completely Iron Man, but it, it, it's kind of Iron Man. Nobody waves. Nobody uses emotes. God, I wish there was PvP. Could you imagine? That would be so freaking sweet. You'd feel like an honest-to-god superhero. So, he is playing as Ranger, I believe. That might be Storm. I don't know. Storm is so generic-looking, though. It's hard to tell. That's Colossus. Grape Soda Colossus. It's kind, of, it's kind of dope. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought they were fighting the big guy. There's a, there's a big ape-like creature around here. That's not it. I like how three of us just happen to gather in the same place. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look around for that ape creature, and if not, we're gonna head on back to, uh, back to camp, back to Fort Tarsus, and hop in a mission. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find anything here. All right, let's get back to base. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Interceptor already. I feel like this is exactly my type of gameplay. You do have to be careful because it is a little squishy, but the DPS is insane. So, it fits a great role. Not only that, but it helps other uh, teammates DPS because some of your abilities can bolster damage temporarily for a short amount of time, which is really sweet and really, really useful. So it makes, not only are you useful, but you make your teammates more useful. You bring out the best in them. Because you are already the best you can be just by playing the Interceptor. Some quick beta info. This is the VIP beta. Obviously, this is closed. You can only play it right now if you've pre-ordered the game. February 1st is when you can uh, uh, play it for free. That's when it's open beta. But it is... Oh, wait. I said beta. That's a mistake. This is technically a demo, not a beta. So... 
Uh, yeah. Um, see, demo, in my mind, that's... That has a sense of finality to it. Beta is a work in progress. It's... No expedition feats, you kidding me? Anyway. There's some glitches, there's some bugs, there's some server issues. You'd think it would be called a beta, but it's called a demo, so... Wait a second, are we actually live? Give me a second. Yeah, we are live. Good. Hold on, chat room's frozen. I gotta back it up. <sighs> I guess technically I was in my past chat room. There we go. Storm is way better. Yeah, okay. Bite my shiny metal ass. Seriously, it actually is shiny. Well, it's not metal. That's false advertising. It's some sort of a rubber material. Welcome to Fort Tarsus. This is this is your hub world in Anthem. It's actually pretty dope. The it's small. It's it's not like Destiny's hub world. You, you can't meet other players here. This is just for you. But it looks really nice, and you got some pretty good uh, pretty good looking javelins around. I like that they're actually wearing, like, some sort of a loincloth. Very modest. You got some very modest robots. The graphics are astounding, though. They really are. Alright, let's hop into a mission. So we're gonna go after a stronghold mission, which is gonna be pretty tough. This is gonna be a trial by fire, because I have not truly used my interceptor in combat until now. So I'm hopefully gonna prove to you that Storm is shit. Colossus is is just he's a mistake and well Ranger's a basic bitch. Interceptor is the way to go. Time of mine. I actually haven't played uh I haven't played as Colossus or Storm yet. I was gonna get Storm, but I mean look at this. That's nice. That's really, really nice. The animations in this game are top notch. Is it just me or did... Was that a... F I think that was a female pilot face that it just showed. I selected a male pilot, but I had my suspicions about this because if you look at the um, derriere of of my suit, it's feminine. Um, I, don't, I don't know if our suits have genders separate of our own. I thought that uh, the... the gender of our suit was based off well whatever yeah interesting well whatever we're rolling with two rangers lucky us Catching in our contact from corvus freelancer i see you got one for greetings i like to learn on the go can i fault you there name's sev corvus has assigned me to counter scar activity around full passes since when does corvus care about scars since they started making acidic weapons to attack the supply caravans that's a good reason we think this is where they're making the acid any idea how? I want you to find that out. We've got to stop to it. So we actually have a storm with us. Did you see his cape? How full of yourself do you have to be to put a cape on your mech? For those of us who don't speak shape, that's bad, right? Obviously. Freelancer, we'll need to silence the relic. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not cut out for interceptor now. Now we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We just need to be more tactical about this. We are CQC, but we need to use mobility. And we should use our mobility to take this thing down. And our abilities as well. Both in tandem. Crap, they overheated my thrusters. They have taken away my superpower. My super suit works off of thrusters. And when I don't have that, well, I'm in deep shit. But yeah, the melee is insane. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, God. It's just ridiculous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to heal him up. Let's try it. Oh, God. Ooh, it was a close one. 
<laughs> I need to grab some health. Stat. I don't think there's any health around me though yet. All right, we got an echo. I'm gonna bring it back around to whatever it's called. What? what where do we bring the echoes? I'm gonna bring it into the subwoofer. That's that's what it is. They got the idea for that thing. Uh, watching YouTube videos of people putting liquids on subwoofers. I guarantee it. Great. We got two team members down. I'm assuming it's the two uh, rangers. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The, the storm is good. The storm knows what he's doing. Oh, thank you, hell. Is that turret down? Yeah, good. It's a start. Oh, fuck yeah, we just found a rare item. Is this game rated M? Should I be using that language? I think not. There it is. Uh, we're gonna find a couple more relics. So, some of the missions in the game, they're uh, kind of fetch questy. Sometimes you got little puzzles, which is nice, but a lot of the missions are bring eight items to this location. Quite a few of them in the demo, anyway. I don't know if that's just the demo and if the main game's gonna be different, but I would hope so. So right now I don't have my interceptor spec out because I just unlocked it. They just fixed the glitch. In the demo, you can pick two interceptors. Well, you can pick one. You can pick one interceptor because you have the ranger. There's no choice in that. You're given the ranger. And at level 12, you're given the choice to pick your own. But you only have one. I chose the interceptor. I was going to pick it last night, but I didn't have time because it was glitched. A lot of glitches in the demo, just be aware of that. I keep looking for the glowing things. Echoes. Right. Those. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a close one. Hey, we got another one over here. There we are. You can carry multiple echoes at once, so if you're quick, that's gonna be your job. Nice. The best way to run your interceptor is, uh... There, there's a there's a couple of different you, you can craft some of these augments you can craft some of these uh, some of these abilities but I don't have the blueprints to do that so I'm just oh crap got my team over here I'm just gonna have to grind some missions until I find the abilities I'm looking for but it's great with DPS so you really want to use that to your advantage it's also great with supporting your uh, or augmenting your teammates DPS so that's something else you want to watch out for. I'm not sure what that's called. I think it's called acid. Maybe not. Probably not. I should really be using more of my melee. It's huge with melee, and melee is really good for taking down shields. Look at that. <laughs> not even attacking me, I'm just melting them. Oh, that's insane. Whoa! Crap! Now that guy melted me! Any health around here? Not from what I can tell. Oh man, I just wasted my ultimate. I don't even know what my ultimate is. Oh shit! Look at that! I just cut through his shield. Wow. Alright, so your ultimate is just going berserk. It's berserker melee, which is amazing. Wow. Alright. This, this interceptor is my jam. Highly recommend it. Not only that, but thanks to these uh, dodge thrusters, you can just zip around them and get to their blind side. This is incredible! Look at this! Oh my god! <laughs> They really don't stand a chance. 
Uh-huh. Alright, where to find some more echoes? Yeah, wow. If if you have a good grip on mobility, I'm I might be speaking too soon. We're gonna get into some serious shit later. Soon we're gonna attack some really dangerous enemies in some really crowded areas. But uh the melee feels incredible. Where are the other three echoes? There's no cooldown for the melee, for one thing. Uh, you're so mobile that you can easily circle strafe around to the enemy's blind side. Along with, uh, dodging their fire. And if you're taking too much damage, you can get out of there like bats. Because you're just so damn quick. You're just so slippery. And of course, you work really well with close-range weapons. And the close-range weapons are pretty awesome. Especially the machine pistol. I'm not seeing the rest of these things. Neither are my teammates, apparently. There we go. They looked like the scars were putting eggs to the relic. The eggs were filled with acid. We'll be using the relic to weaponize it. Let's check the second relic. Put a theory to the test. Hey, Ben O'Hare, if that's a real beta code, you're you're a god, man. That's awesome. Ben just uh, uh, put out a, a beta code in the chat room. That's that's actually really really nice of you, man. Yes, I am playing with a controller, but this is PC. The reason I'm playing with a controller is because mouse and keyboard is really jank right now. Not only that, but... I mean... Hold on. You know, well, it's nicer this. You know, play, playing around like this. Or playing around like this. Relics, yeah, okay. I hate- I hate watching that. Crowded. When I watch people playing with a mouse and keyboard, ah, it's just- ah. If you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, your eyes are expecting all the movements, they're anticipating it, but if you're watching someone else play like this, it's just... Oh, that's ugly. I had to catch up with my teammates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This looks like a pleasant little uh, oasis, doesn't it? Wrong! It's an extremely intense area. If you don't have any other teammates. Uh, last night I was playing with one other guy. Uh, our other two team teammates bailed. I think they were actually disconnected from the servers. And holy crap. It was intense. I, I don't think that it scales if you have less players playing with you. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Oh, shit. They can one-shot you because there's so many of them around. Oh, thank you, water. I'm gonna have to back off. Let my shields regen. What I'm trying to do is getting close enough to take down these turrets because they're extremely tough. Uh, you need to be level 12 in the demo to get any javelin. In the main game, I'm pretty sure Interceptor is one of the later javelins you unlock, maybe the last, because the game kept warning me, hey, this one's really tough to play, so watch yourself. You watch your sweet little ass if you're playing as the Interceptor, because you gotta be experienced. Are you experienced enough? And I said, have some goddamn faith. You insist that I am experienced. You insist I am experienced. Ever since Blackwater, you haven't had any goddamn faith. I love it when you run out of juice or when you overheat and you just plummet to the earth. It looks so cool. I mean, it's a bad thing, but it looks dope. Looks like we got one more snap. Oh, no. We have a turret. My bad. We have a sniper too, I'm gonna take them down next. Actually, I'll take this one down. It seems to be a little faster. Some of the enemies attack more quickly than others, even if they're the same enemy type. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if that's just part of their AI. But as you can see, melee is absurd. If you were playing, uh, PvP, this melee would be such a bitch to fight. 
Where'd he go? Did he fall off? I think so. Oh, no, he's gone. I don't see any others, but there will be before too long. Oh, there we go. Nice. God, this game's gorgeous. Look at the water. Holy shit. I love the Interceptor, man. I gotta say, like, I, I'm gonna buy the game just for this. Just for the Interceptor. This is, this is the most fun I've had playing the game so far. Hope they don't nerf it. I don't know if it's OP or not. I haven't played much Warframe. Um, Warframe is a good game. I just didn't, I didn't care for it. I know that's not the cool thing to say. I haven't played a JRPG that I've liked either. I know that's a really uncool thing to say too, but I'm not subscribed to Crunchyroll. There's another uncool thing to say. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Warframe is a really good game, but I, I haven't played enough of it to comment. I've played a fair amount of Destiny and a fair amount of The Division. Those two games are. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Right next to me? Warframe uh, is close to um, Anthem, but so it. Jesus Christ. This is what I was talking about. All the enemies. Oh, there's so many! Oh, shit. Ultimate, let's go! Come on! <laughs> oh. oh, it's so sick. Oh my god. Hey, it's like uh, the lightsaber choreography in the prequel trilogy. The funny thing is, my normal melee is almost as powerful. I think it's actually just as powerful as my ultimate ability melee. Except, during my ultimate ability, I'm invulnerable, and that's the main difference. Don't forget to use all of the abilities and weapons at your disposal. All of them. Like I was saying earlier, this game has a lot in common with Destiny and the Division, and I've played those two games a lot, so... That's what I can compare. The gunplay in Anthem is not as good as either. The abilities are really cool. The abilities are great. The mobility is fantastic. The, mo the mobility is better than either of those games, but um, the gunplay, no. Nah. The guns themselves, the mechanics, not no. It's not. It's not quite there. I don't know if they can patch that. <laughs> I don't know if they can uh, make it better with updates. They probably can, but. Um, I've played a lot of Anthem, I've played a, uh, more of The Division 2. I've played about five hours in The Division 2, and the gunplay is just out of this world. So, now Anthem can't hold a candle to that, nor can it hold a candle to uh, Destiny's gunplay. But, the mobility is what you're gonna be playing this game for because it's amazing. As far as mission structure, I only have the missions in the demo, and the mission that I played in the alpha. The mission that I played in the alpha was a story mission. These are more world missions, and the story mission in the alpha was, uh... I think it was rough. I don't think the story of this game is going to be very good. I really think that reviewer is going to trash the story of Anthem. But the, the world is great. The characters, not so much. The world, yes. Relic silenced. Big work. World building? I don't know. It came from below. Of course it did. Hate to say it, but that thing is probably what's producing the eggs. If we don't get rid of the source, the scars will come back and keep making weapons. Faye, find me a way on the ground. Already done. Now, when I say world, I don't mean necess. I mean the art design, really. The art, the art design is great, but the world itself is kind of empty. It's just a pretty. It's really just a pretty environment with some crafting stuff around there. Um. To be fair, 
you don't have access to the full world in, in the demo. So maybe that's just this area that I'm in. And you know what? Maybe the story gets better. I haven't really played much of the story at all. I've only played what was in the alpha and what's in the demo. So it could get better. Something else that I don't like is the, the like, it's not really a true open world. The Division, for instance, the entire map is open except the Dark Zone because that's instanced. It's different, right? Well, um, there's a lot of loading screens in the open world in Anthem. Like, I'm pretty sure whenever this thing opens, it's going to be a loading screen. I don't know why it's not opening to find a way underground. Is there like a switch we need to flip? done this before, and I'm pretty sure it's just all of us needed to be here. If I remember correctly. Yep, that's what it is. That door should lead underground. Oh, Once fuck yeah, it didn't load. Did you keep something out? Oh, there are a lot of loading screens, though. Oh, the big bad Corvus agent's not a fan of scorpions. What? Your products, the likability is up for debate. Yeah, it sounds it, it sounds uh, finicky, but really the loading screens are a bummer. I mean, it's not enough to really hurt my enjoyment of the game, but it is a, a bit of a speed bump. And it the worst part is uh, some of the loading screens are long, but the worst part is it, it just it, it it's just one more thing to give you a disconnect from the world. So. I wouldn't call The Division, or Warframe, or Destiny immersive. It's not like they're Fallout or The Witcher, but it, it does take you out of the world. It makes the world feel... It's almost peaceful down here. Scorpions can't swim, right? Don't worry, Seth. I won't let them get you. I'm really not sold on these characters. This is no Mass Effect. This is no Knights of the Old Republic. Anyway. The loading screens really uh, serve to make the world feel like a couple of levels in a video game, and you're, you're loading in between them, instead of like this next-gen, seamless experience. Um, which is kind of at odds, because it, it, this feels like a, like a really new video game. The animations are great, the world looks great, uh, the movement is really fluid. But, and the graphics are amazing, but at the same time, you've got all these loading screens and uh, the writing just is not very good, the characters aren't very interesting. So far, so far, again, huge asterisk next to everything that I say. Wrong way. Huge asterisk next to everything that I say because I haven't played the full story. Maybe if I played the full story, I'd change my mind and say, hey, this is the next Mass Effect 2. Hopefully. No one, none of us know where we're supposed to go. Not even the storm guy. I keep wanting to call him Ghost. I think this is the right way. Hey, we're wet. That's cool. Damn, that electric looks good. Um. So, the problems that the game has had yesterday, those were server issues. It's, it's not like, it would be worse, so Fallout 76, a lot of the problems people had with the game, those are game problems. Um, what's the most perfect multiplayer game to people? I don't know. I don't know. Well, Fortnite's the most popular, whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's say Anthem was the best game ever, right? Well, even if it was the best game ever, if it had poor servers, that how the hell did they die down there? If it had poor servers, then it didn't. It doesn't matter if it's the best game ever because you can't play it. It was server issues yesterday, and not game issues, which is a good thing. Server issues they're easier to fix than game issues. Does that guy have a bubble surrounding him? Oh my god! Oh, does he have a bubble when he's dead? What the hell? I can't seem to bring... Oh, there he goes. I guess there's lag. Well, 
My point is, it's better to have server issues than game issues because server issues are server problems, not game problems. In any case, yeah, I had the same problems that you did yesterday. It was really annoying. Hopefully they extend the VIP beta by another day, but I don't, I don't think they will. I wouldn't count on it. It would be nice. It would be a, a nice gesture. I'm pretty sure this is where we need to be, but all of us need to be here. Hey, I don't know if my if my mic's working or if you guys have VOIP turned on, but I'm pretty sure we all need to be together. I think I know where 123 Russell is. There's this dead end in the caverns, and I think he's in the dead end. That's some little bitch. Yeah, there's no PvP whatsoever, which is disappointing to me. The question is, is there no PvP because they couldn't find a way to make it work? Careful. Your javelin has a limited oxygen supply. Wait, I just want to see what's this way. Is this where we're supposed to- Oh, shit. Maybe we were going the wrong way. I don't know, maybe that's for another mission. Wow. God, that's incredible. He was a long way from home. Look at those ruins. Humans must have lived here at one time. Before they all got eaten by scorpions. Whatever happened, it's not related to our mission. Head back when you're ready. You're the one that brought it up. Anyway, um, God, that looks great. So, where's everybody at? Yo, where the javelins at? They over there? At the, at the door that we were at before? God, we can't get on the same page. It's, it's the demo, though. Everybody's just... I can barely see in this place. Everybody's just playing around, discovering things. I can't blame them, but... Something that would be nice is if we had... Text chat? There is no text chat in the game. There is only VOIP, and VOIP is turned off by default. So, <laughs> uh, you can you can talk all you want, but most people don't even realize that VOIP is turned off by default. They'll probably just look in the key bindings and see, okay, I gotta hold T to talk to people, and they'll just assume it's it push to talk is active, right? Like it usually is. No, it's not. Which is annoying because that means you can't communicate with anybody because nobody's listening. Well, that's why I'm curious as to... Because I asked the developers um, if they're planning on adding PvP. And... Of course, they had no answer. That's expected. Now we came from that. <laughs> yeah, they, they dropped it too because they were like, no, we came from that way. I'm pretty sure we all have to go by the door together. I'm just going to camp by the door. Just wait. Um, search the tunnels. Boy, that's fun. That's going to be really fun the fifth time I've been in these tunnels. Although, to be fair, you're probably not going to be replaying this mission over and over again once the game's actually out. Uh, we have a very finite amount of missions in the, in the demo, so I should not be too hard on it for that. Oh, God. Hey, it's a water level. I just realized. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Where the hell are my teammates? Is this back to the, uh, waterfall? Yep, damn it. All right. All right, so from the waterfall, we need to go left, I believe, and then right. Right? Maybe I'll just follow this guy. He'll get it eventually. On IGN's stream with Anthem Team, they said there was going to be PvP. Oh, maybe they changed their mind. Here it is. Well, there's not going to be PvP on launch. Maybe it'll be added later. Maybe it won't. Um, it, you know, it would be interesting if... if uh, so when I talked to the developers, it was at EA Play. And they said, at, at, the mo at the moment, there's no plans for PvP, but that could be something in the future. So, that was only a couple months ago. I guess they might have made some big progress on that. The thing is, why wouldn't they have talked about PvP being a thing later, you know? Is it because they didn't think it would be possible to make it fun? But, uh, so, like, 
when was EA Play? Let's say it was six months ago. Six months ago, they were like, we don't know if we can make PvP fun in a game like Anthem. But six months later, they're like, oh, wait a second. We just figured out how to make it fun. So now it's definite. Now we're going to announce it. it. I don't know. It's 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 really interesting. I, I'm not an insider. So I don't get to talk to developers a lot. There are some, uh, some game changers. Uh, that are in the Anthem Game Changers program. EA, uh, basically what a Game Changer is, Electronic Arts uh, selects YouTubers and they fly them out to the development studios and they can talk to the developers there, they can play early builds of the game, influence how the game is going to be made, stuff like that. So, I would be very curious if, uh, if one of those Game Changers could find out, like, why PvP wasn't announced until recently on the IGN stream. Apparently, I haven't watched the IGN live stream where they streamed with the development team of Anthem, but that would be interesting to know. I think I know someone that's in the uh, in the program, so I'll see if I can uh, I'll see if I can get them to ask. But I don't think anybody's want to ask that question because that's uh, that's not very ha happy of a question. I could see where PVP would be a. That's a lot of eggs. You know what they say? I could but see where PVP would be a really different I thing. I don't want that on there. What is that? Another relic. Careful, freelancer. It's unstable. I hate it when they do that. What do we do now? Gather the fragments and silence the relic. Anyway, <sighs> I'm not sold on the characters. That f that mist. That looks amazing, how it settles and clumps like that. That's gorgeous. Like I was saying, PvP was apparently just announced recently. They had no plans for it six months ago. I guess they figured out how to make it fun. But um, with the gameplay that Anthem has, I don't know if PvP would work. There's a lot of mobility. There's a lot of special balancing. I guess they could have se separate balancing for PvP as opposed to PvE, but um, I, I'm still not sure if this is a game where PvP would actually work well. The Division, um, Destiny, they're straightforward in terms of how the games work. Their base mechanics. Here you, you've got flying. Here you've got these lock-on missiles. And, I think it's either going to be really difficult to balance. I'm not a game developer. How they get down here? Bastards love to blow. I'm not a game developer, so I'm just talking out of my ass. But I could see where Anthem would be a game that would be pretty difficult to balance for player versus player, uh, and something that might not actually be as fun as you would think it would be, or it could be a fucking blast. I don't know. I, I'm hoping it would be a blast because. I'm remembering earlier in the live stream when I was flying around in the sky, we were just circle strafing each other. That looked really, really cool. And if we could just be like <laughs> slamming each other with melee and, and uh, missiles, that'd be really dope. Almost done. I think the Only closest example to what PvP in this game might be like, there's a, a game called Armored Core. And in Armored Core, you basically had Gundams, especially in Armored Core for Answer. The closest gameplay to Anthem, aside from Dark Void, would be Armored Core for Answer. Because you're in these giant mechs, and they're super hey, awesome. They're mo- More scars. I know. These look extra powerful. Anyway, I, don't, I hate talking over people, even if they're virtual. Uh, the mechs in Armored Core were super agile, super mobile. Um, they're modular. You could... Uh, switch out their arms, their limbs. It was way more in-depth than Anthem's customization, but still similar. And a lot of the guns and stuff were similar as well. And that PvP was fun as hell. So I'm wondering if it's going to be kind of like that. I could see that. And if it is, I could see that being a lot of fun. It doesn't necessarily have to be super balanced to be a lot of fun. This doesn't have to be an eSport to be an awesome multiplayer game. Did I not put that in there? Oh, damn it. Hey, door's still closed and there's notes everywhere. Give it a minute, it should work itself out. Should? Energy readings are stabilizing, albeit slowly. Just stay in the center, any interference will cause the energy to spike again. 
I know, it's really transparent when, when people say like, Man, Anthem is such a bad graphic. Looks like, it looks like he's playing this on the, on the play PFX. Is this a PlayStation 1 emulator? Yeah, dude, okay, this has got really bad graphics. Well, yesterday I was streaming a boss fight against a giant mecha tank and people were like, Oh my god, I knew this game was gonna be bullet spongy. He's fighting this giant mecha tank and he's not dying in one shot. Oh my god. Yeah, alright, dude. That every game should play like Arma, and I should have been able to fucking 360 no scope that mecha tank. I'm gonna talk to the developers. I'm gonna chew their ears off because this game is fucking shit. The mecha tank doesn't die with a headshot. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's legitimate criticisms about this game. I have some myself. I've read plenty of legitimate criticisms, but some people are just, um, I don't know. They can't. They have trouble finding porn on the internet, so they. They kind of find some weird thing to jack off to, and I guess it's hating some video games. Whichever video game they choose. It really is weird. We do live in a, uh, I'm not going to say a hate-centric society, but there are hate-centric splinters of our culture where people just have more fun tearing things down. Because it's easier to tear something down than it is to build something up. It's easier to hate something than to like something. Because... Stay on the platform. If you're just this prickly ball of spikes, nothing can hurt you, right? If you don't let anyone get close to you, then no one can get close enough to hurt you. Slightly different example of video games, but same concept. Uh, a lot of people have more fun trashing video games than they do playing video games. And it sucks because they, they drown out legit criticism. All this fluff criticism is just, it's drowning out legit criticism because everybody thinks we're a bunch of whiny baby bastards. They think we're a bunch of man children because all we do is whine about video games and just scream and... Well, I was, I was gonna do the re-noise, but I... This microphone's really sensitive and I don't wanna... If you're, if you're wearing AirPods, if you're rich as fuck and you're wearing AirPods, I don't wanna blast your eardrums out. But, uh, yeah. Most gamers aren't a bunch of bitchy man-children. Uh, a lot of us have some some good fucking feedback, but the bitchy man-children are just so loud that no one hears the legit feedback. They're, they're just like, Jesus Christ, what the hell's wrong with these people? Are they are they socially inept? Ugh. Anyway. We're supposed to all stay on the platform, which is... There's some design decisions that are just kind of baffling to me, because, um... This game is all about its mobility, right? So if I'm just staying on the platform, I... I don't get to use my mobility, I don't get to zip around. I'm a close quarters combat main, so... Me just having to stay back here just kind of sucks. I don't think our friend like that. Too bad. I'm just getting started. See, that's fun. That's cathartic. That's what I want to do. What they should have done was, I don't know, had some sort of a turbine up there where you have to, uh, you have to fly around and follow it. That means, like, you have to stay in the air and you have to work to stay in the air so your boosters don't overheat instead of just standing in one place. Use the fucking mobility! That's the coolest part of the game! That would have been dope if you had to fight in the air and if you touched the ground, it slowed down the progress of the objective. No ground. The, the floor is lava. I think that would have been fun. Let him stay that way. I actually haven't died yet. I haven't died once. I love the interceptor. I thought it was. I thought I was gonna be screwed. I thought, you know what? I'm picking this thing because it's got a really nice snacky butt. Um, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a huge mistake because I'm picking this thing and I have no idea how to play it. I'm just picking it for the aesthetics. It's squishier than the Ranger, which I apparently was shit with. But this thing, I haven't died once, it just feels so right. I love it. Where are we supposed to go? Up. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> you bastards, I thought I was supposed to go up, I just slammed into the wall. These graphics are really amazing. No, it's not, it's on normal right now, actually. 
The reason I didn't put it on hard is because when you're playing with strangers, well, I don't I don't know what they're doing. They they could just be sitting on they could just be putting the controller off their butt and not playing the game. Maybe that's their fetish. I'm not one to judge, but when it affects my uh, when it affects my rewards, I got a problem with it. So, turns out, my team, my random team, strangers, they're actually okay. So we could have totally run this on hard. In fact, I'm gonna be playing Anthem with subscribers. So if you guys are picking up Anthem on PC, that's what I'm gonna be playing it on. But if you're gonna be picking up Anthem on PC, uh, let's group up. Let's play it on hard. So if you suck, don't apply. We've already got one of those people on our team. All right, we don't need any more. It's oh. pretty dark in here. It's right on a slab. It'll help. You need freelancers of twos for everything. Back into the deep. I think I just f look at that cape. He's got a cape on his mecha suit. What a prissy bitch. It's not even cape weather. It's too warm for capes. Um. So, I, I think I just figured out a problem I have with this story. As in, a, not a problem with this story, but a problem with me. <laughs> so... Uh, weird, like... The, the demo is not at the intro of the game. I played the intro of the game in the alpha. I didn't like this, the, uh, the, the, mis the story mission. There's cutscenes and stuff. The cutscenes were kind of oh, cool, but... That's just wrong. I didn't like the characters. Anyway. Look at this. I'm like two yards Remember? behind them. And it, 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 it put me into a loading screen because I'm a couple feet behind them. Too many loading screens. Anyway, um, we're not at the intro of the game. You don't play the intro of the game in the demo. You start at level 10, so I don't know if this is two hours into the game, three hours into the game when you start the demo. I'm not sure. But, uh, and this, that could be why I'm feeling this way. So this could be a completely, sh like, hollow complaint. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> They're just a little bit in front of me, and it was saying, it disappeared now, so maybe it was a glitch, but it was saying, you're too far away. We're gonna have to put you in a loading screen and transport you to, to, to your team members. There's no freedom. Um, now we sound like the whiny man-child. But, yeah, these characters... It, it's, it's like when a TV show is in its first season, and in the first episode, they're like, Oh, these guys! Don't you love these guys? Oh, they're getting up to their hijinks. Oh, you raped a woman, and then he cut her head off and put it in his freezer. Oh, that dog! He's such a scoundrel. Oh, we love him, though. They're all lovable. All of our TV show characters are lovable. Don't you love them? You just met them, but don't you love them? We've got such camaraderie. Everybody's so witty. We're all making jokes to each other. We've got the funny guy. We've got the impatient woman who's just a professional. You know, she's not going to take any of your shit. we got the fish out of water straight man character. we got all of them. we got it all. And... I don't love your characters immediately, alright? Woo me into it, for God's sake. Mass Effect it took its time, and I appreciated that. Where the hell is the mission area? Isn't this the mission area? See, why don't you transport that son of a bitch that's AFK? Why'd you transport me? I'm pretty sure we can't start the mission until he's here, so that sucks. It's not a bad idea to wait on a game like Anthem. Um, one of the... He's still out of K, that piece of shit. Can we, like, vote to kick him? Let's find out. Alright, there he is. Actions. No. That's a shame. And there's no text chat, so I can't yell, HEY ASSHOLE! Play the goddamn objective! He can't hear me because there's no VOIP. Or the everyone has the VOIP off by default. That bastard. Opinions on mouse and keyboard. Uh, yeah, they're really jank right now, Rick. It's not just you. Nobody likes them. Hey, here he comes. Okay. 
I don't forgive him, but I do feel elation right now. If it had good graphics, you wouldn't have to fly. Quite the opposite, actually. It's much harder to make a game with good graphics like this. Oh shit, look at the- Oh my god, that mist is incredible. It would be official oh. to cut the link, right? Highly. Damn it. Next time, I expect big-ass bugs to be in the mission briefing. You'd have to show up for that to help. Oh shit! Well, this is my first fucking death. I didn't even see him. He just jumped on me and one shot of me. Oh, that's a. I almost said gorgeous ass. No. No, I didn't mean to say that. Anybody? Oh, he's trying. He's trying. He did his best. He, he They popped the shield too. Oh shit, now two of them are dead. Oh god. Wow. Now I feel like a dick. Do we have... Okay, we have two other team members. So one's distracting him, the other one's gonna come to our, to our rescue. Thank you. These dead spider animations are great. Love them. See, we got a good team here. This is the first good team that I've had. I got him, I got him. Wait. I don't got him! Who do I got? I got no one. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man, he hits hard. And my thrusters are overheated. Oh, God. All right. Let's get our game on. Come on, gamers! Rise up! I'm guessing these fleshy orbs are the weak spots. Oh, yeah! Check out this melee, this is incredible. Oh, yeah! See, that's nice. Well... Okay, I didn't realize he was just leaving, but if you could have enemies that were like crawling on the walls or flying enemies... I'm sure there's flying enemies in the game, but... If, if this planet that we're on... If Discount Pandora had flora and fauna that would, uh... Uh... Shit, shit, shit. If, if the animals here were conditioned to be, like, wall crawlers... Like, if most of them could crawl on the ground or the walls. If, this is an alien planet. The ecosystem, who the hell knows how it works, right? That would be pretty cool. That would really... And if you could run on the walls, that'd be pretty cool, too. Just complete Titanfall. Anyway, I vote... For making use of this game's unique qualities as much as humanly possible. I think that's what they should be doing, but that's just me. To be fair, the game really does reward using everything at your disposal, so that's good. I'm a fan of that. But if they could just go further with it, that would make me even happier. How much ammo do I have? Plenty. Good. I know, it does look like Starship Troopers, doesn't it? Copied Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't remember seeing a giant spider with a droopy butt in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What were you watching? That's a cool shield he's got there. Nice. Oh, that jump scared my ass. Ooh. I went too far in a few places. The melee is great, but you gotta be careful with it. Do a Dutch impersonation! Oh, wait, you do a Dutch impress... Impressionist. I'm a Dutch impressionist, thank you. That's, a, that's actually awesome. I thought you were treating me like a monkey, like, hey, 
Hey. Hey, do a do a Dutch. Do a Dutch. <laughs> throwing popcorn in my ass. Yeah, try to throw on pop tarts. Maybe I'll do a Dutch at first stage to do that. Where'd he go? He better not drop on me again. Hey, so I I don't know if you guys can hear me, but thank you for saving my ass and carrying me sincerely. Except for you, one, two, three, Russell, one, two, three. You can go to hell. I apologize if he's the one that revived me earlier, but um he was AFK too long. I can't I can't abide by that. I can't forgive that. I am not a con man! My faith only goes so far, son. This is not a charitable organization. This is the Vanderlind Gang. We are not meek men. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, oh, my thrusters. I like the attacks that are the most dangerous and and, and kill you are the attacks that uh, burn out your thrusters. It's very convenient. All right, I got to start using everything at my disposal because we're not doing good here. Jesus Christ! I flew right into him. I was reading the chat room. I know that sounds like a shitty excuse, but it is. <sighs> uh, the game is out. Well, no. Jesus Christ. The game's not out. It's it's out in, in uh, demo form right now. Um, if you pre-order the game, you can play it. But on February 1st, you don't have to pay a dime. And you can try it for free. February 1st, open beta. Open demo for Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC. Whatever you got. Wonder where he went. Oh, he's probably gonna pop out of there, isn't he? Yeah. So how do these spiders drop ammunition? Do they just eat it? He's gonna come out of there, isn't he? I'd, I'd better back up just in case. I don't like using my gun, I should be using melee. Oh, yeah! Look at that! Oh, it's gorgeous! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. No. That gotta let me out. You gotta be a little careful against a big boss like this using melee, but. It is still very effective. You got your Russell. Ooh. Oh, that's a that's your big boy. Any help around here? No. I'm shit out of luck. Wait. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Maybe it's AoE. Critical failure cannot be repaired. Oh. That's not good. I guess we're in the uh, no respawn stage of the boss, but no, we're not. Okay. The game's UI could be a little more descriptive sometimes. Even the way it dies is unnerving. Uh, one of the appears, I'll take you to forget that thing. I'm gonna go with... Eight. One for each of the tyrant's legs. Uh, no more scorpion talk, please. These don't really look like scorpions. Maybe there's somewhere between spiders and scorpions, I don't know. Oh! I should have used my super. Damn it! Well, there's just no excuse for that. I didn't use my super. Shit. I'll try to use it next time. I'll try to remember. Oh, God. If I would... That my super would have been so perfect. It's not something that deals a lot of damage necessarily, but you're invulnerable. So, you're invulnerable. It's, 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 a, it's a melee super, so it looks cool. I think it deals the same damage roughly as your normal melee, but being invulnerable is huge. Let's see how many accolades we got.
Not, not, not that many. Oh God, I'm on par with one, two, three, Russell. Jesus. Well, we don't need to see any more of this. Let's just skip it. Skip it. Skip. Get me out of here. Get me. Get me out of here, please. Wait, what's this? Pilot level increased. Minor component slot unlocked. That's awesome. It's actually gonna be really useful for us. So, uh. Since that was my first time playing uh, Interceptor, I have nothing unlocked. But, since we just completed a mission with him, I'm hoping that we'll have some, uh, some modifiers unlocked, some abilities, some components, maybe some better weapons. This should be good. Yeah. Yeah, we got some stuff. Awesome. Now, you don't just collect for whichever javelin you're playing as. I believe for abilities you do. I think that's exclusive, but... As far as weapons go, you can collect weapons for anybody, as anybody. So, if you can't figure out why you can't find a certain weapon, you have the wrong javelin for it. You probably need the Colossus, because I think the Colossus can use almost all weapons. Maybe not the machine pistol, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Can't use the grenade launcher with anybody but the Colossus. Uh, what do we got? Spark Dash. Oh yeah, Dash is pretty good. Interceptor gathers strength and charges the target, damaging everything on its path. Great. Let's go for it. That damage is insane. Yeah, that's definitely more my style. Strike System. Wraith Strike. Interceptor projects a ghost of itself that can warp up to three targets. Okay. Not exactly sure how that works, but we'll find out. I don't think I had anything equipped there before. Maybe I did. That's pretty good, plus 5% base damage. Nice. We'll change up our weapons and then we'll get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I should go for this sniper rifle. I'm a CQC main. That's, uh... Probably a bad idea. We'll go for the light machine gun because that's actually, that's actually pretty good. That's some that's some nice damage there. Actually, I kind of want to go for the uh, the RPM is way better on this thing, and the damage is only uh, well, the damage is a fair bit lower. Ammo's lower. Optimal range is lower. Still, I'm gonna go for that because I want to go complete close quarters combat, all in. So these are the other customization options in the demo. I don't care for that head. I actually think that looks kind of silly. I think this one looks cool, but this one's a little too big. It looks like a bobblehead. Doesn't really fit the rest of the body. Kind of looks uh, looks a bit like an anime mech, actually. The chest also makes it look a little bulky. I don't really care for that. But, you know, I do like these legs. I think those legs look pretty dope. However, they cover the side butt a little bit. So, I'm going to go with a no on those, actually. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll go for them. I mean, they're cool. They're cool looking. Alright, screw it. Let's go for it. So, cosmetic items cost 25 coins, but that's just for the demo. They don't cost 25 coins uh, in the final game. It's all in the yeah, it should be good. There's also vinyls, but not only do I have no coins for them, I don't think I want any of these vinyls on my, uh... Now, if I could customize the vinyls, I can't. Maybe I would do it, but can I choose where it... No, no. If, if you could customize your javelin like you can in Forza, like you can customize your car in Forza, that would be dope, but you can't do that. All right. Let's get out of here. We got everything we need. Any other missions in the hub world? There's not a whole lot to do, but it is the demo. <sighs> it is beautiful, though. Kind of looks like a cross between if... If Destiny was... Like, if, if Destiny had an Egyptian motif, or a... Uh, or like a, a Venetian motif. It's a little bit of both. 
but there's a lot that you're not seeing. For instance, you got something called a Strider. See that up there? That is, if you ever saw Zoids, you got like this mobile base that kind of looks like an animal. It, it, it walks around, well, it doesn't walk in Zoids, whatever. That is your mobile base, and that's uh, what you are primarily inside of in the main story, not just at the hub world, so that's going to be pretty cool. I don't want to, I don't want to dog the campaign too much yet before I play it. However, the writing isn't that great. The, the setting might be cool, the set pieces might be cool, but I don't think the writing is going to be much better than what I've already heard. Tyrant Mine, I've already, I've already done that, I think I have. Let's go, whoa, 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 cancel, cancel, no, did I cancel it? <laughs> Let's go for a quick play, help somebody out in a mission. Or a stronghold. I think there's only one stronghold, and that's what we've already done. Yeah, let's do a... Uh, let's do a mission. Oh, I should have selected hard. Damn it. it! It... The loading screen isn't quick. But getting to the loading screen is like... That! It's really quick. You know, I... Warframe... It's a really, really good game. The developers are awesome. I've actually talked to them once or twice. They're really good people, and they really have a passion for the game that they're making, which isn't... Kind of goo. It's not what? as common as it, it should be like blood to me. for developers to have a great passion for what Unlikely. they're making. Hmm. Perhaps the metaphor. Side effect of division? Let's get some samples. Agreed. God, I hate talking over people. Oh, it's just, it infuriates me. It's not because it's rude. It's just I, my ears don't like it. I don't care for the art direction in Warframe. I never have. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just something that I don't like. Some people won't like the art direction of Anthem, you know? If you're a stupid asshole, you probably That's won't like it. Really gross. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It does look call. like... Yes, our discussions have led to a hypothesis that the split... In warped reality, there are side effects. Runacall specializes in that. She's on expedition helping the Sentinels. On it. Okay. Um... They do look like they belong on a graphics card box. So, I like that look. You might not like that look, and that's fine. But, yeah. I've always wanted to like Warframe, it's just that I don't. I have played it. In fact, I have some very, 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 very old videos on my channel of Warframe that you should not watch. And Warframe's free to play, yes. Yes, it is. It's free to play, it's not pay to win. The monetization is very fair, and the developers are constantly putting out content, and they really care about the game. It's on Switch, it's on consoles, it's on PC, it's everywhere. It's if you don't, if you like the look of Anthem, but you don't really, well, not the look. If you like the general idea of the mobility of Anthem, you but you're like unsure anything. about it, and you're not, news. relax. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. So you're just gonna sit around. Where are you going? What is happening? This argument wait until I get back to the fort. Sumner's left. He just got up and left. Left the lab? I don't know. Just find a little call. We'll deal with this back here. Anyway, um... It's worth trying out Warframe because it's free. There's no reason not to try Warframe. Keep in mind, you might want to watch some tutorial videos because it, it's got a bit of a learning curve. More so than Anthem. In fact... I think that Anthem could stand to have a little more control over uh, over your javelin. If you want to, there should be an option in the menu where you're like, hey, I know if I'm shit that I'm going to regret turning this option on, but let me do it anyway. And then you have like full uh, control. You can... They're going to need your help. It's so irrational for me to get upset that they're talking You know, I can just mute the voices. I should do that. They're not saying anything interesting or cool anyway. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Fuck you. Fuck you, loading screen. This is one of the things I don't like. There's so many loading screens in the world. But, uh... Yeah, anyway. I haven't played the console versions, but they're locked to 30 FPS. 
If you see someone live streaming a console version of this game at 60 FPS, they either don't know that it's 30 FPS or they're pulling a fast one on you. But no. I, like, I saw so many people saying, uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, 4K, 60 FPS. Or streaming Red Dead Redemption 2 and 60 FPS. And, and they're like, hey guys, we're streaming this in 60 FPS, so be sure you turn on the 60 FPS so it looks maximum cool. <laughs> Red Dead is only in 30 FPS, you slimy snake. Th there's no version of Red Dead Redemption 2 that's in 60 FPS. There's no performance mode that will get you past 30 FPS. That doesn't exist. Go, oh, that was sick. Oh, yes. Feel my wrath. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we're so fast! Holy shit! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, oh, it's good. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, the interceptor. This thing is dope. We look a little silly having that gun on our hip, but damn, this thing's dope. You know what? I would not mind if our guns just like transformed into our arms or something like that. Uh, or transformed up really small, like Mass Effects or Vanquish, which that would be kind of dope. Because it looks kind of clunky, you know? Like, we're very sleek. But that just that giant Warhammer 40k gun on us, it doesn't really fit my motif. You know? I want to be a svelte, sexy cyber angel from Evangelion, and it's just ruining my aesthetic. That's so wow. Yeah, I recommend playing Interceptor. Interceptor's my favorite by far. Oh god. This isn't easy, this is normal. Besides, you gotta be a sadist if you're gonna play on hard or very hard with strangers. And there's no text chat. In my last match, I had someone that was just AFK the whole time. Although, maybe if you're playing in hard, you have people that are more serious about it. But, you probably just have people that have some sort of a macho complex. So, I don't know. You could get assholes that don't know what they're doing, but think they know what they're doing. Or you could get people that are just, like, uh, playing the game and focusing on the objective. It's a toss-up, really. And I'm not a gambling man. So, when I'm playing with you guys, if any of you guys play this uh, game on PC, uh, we'll team up when it releases, and we'll play together and we'll play on hard instead of normal. With people I can trust, I don't have faith in strangers, but I will have faith in you. If you put your faith in me, I assure you, we will make money. We will make mangoes in Tahiti, and your faith will not be in vain. Just take my hand, son. Take my hand, and come with me to the danger zone. I love that when you free these guys from their cages, they just stay in there like, no. It's safer in here. I saw all kinds of fucking superheroes, like, like running in, 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 inside of lightning and shit. I'm gonna stay in the cage where it's safe. Oh, they're all rangers. Damn. He's doing an Iron Man thing, though. There's so many people doing the Iron Man thing, I dig it. Look at him, he's so quick, so zippy. Muting in-game voices was... <sighs> Whoa. Muting in-game voices was one of the best decisions I've ever made in Anthem. Holy shit, look at that big mech. Oh, what? That's bullshit. I shot him. Why isn't he dead? Fucking bullet sponges. Fucking civilization. God damn. Pinkertons. 
these meek men making video games with giant mechs that don't die on the first shot. Goddamn bullets on bullshit. Oh my god. Civilization. Mangoes. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the thing that people are pissed about, like, uh, oh no, it's a bullet sponge. It's a giant mech. Boy, if they ever make a Gundam game like this, it's gonna be screwed, because, you know, if, if they make a Gundam game, it, it better be like Arma, where if one single headshot to a Gundam's head, they're dead, you know? It's, it's the same people that are, like, uh, watching The Last Jedi, and they're like, if, if, excuse me, I... There was, a, there was a dreadnought, and when it fired the laser, the laser went like this. Not, things don't arc in space. There's no fucking sound in space either, is there? Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about the sound. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that attack's kind of intense. All right, we gotta focus. Let's do this. Maximum melee. Oh god, this melee is so fucking sweet! Alright, time to back up. Woo! Do you see that dodge? Oh yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, I, I do miss the Varma rifle. Yeah, how'd you guess? This cheap weapon that gives me an unfair advantage over other people? I'm not even being sarcastic. Yes, I miss it. I miss it dearly. I love it when you just crash and burn because, uh, like, I was getting hit hard back there, so I wanted to get the fuck out, right? So I use my, uh, I use my awesome Iron Man thrusters, and then immediately I crash down to the earth. I get up, like, ten feet, and then I crash back down. That's so cool. All right. Ultimate engage! There we go. <laughs> Thank God. I was so close to death, so this is perfect timing. I like this game. That was fun as hell. <laughs> One question. This is a family-friendly live stream, so no curse words are allowed, right? Um. Listen, your kids are cur cursing in school. They're they're cursing in school. They're talking about they're talking about sex. They see it on TV. They see it in movies. They see it in video games. They're talking about carjackings. They're like. You know, I'm I'm pretty scared living where I live because there's there's murders happening. You know, someone could come in my school and shoot up the place with a fucking gun. It's a scary world we live in. The curse wars are not the scary part of it. I hate to I hate to break it to you, but um. Now, if you do say Bloody Mary in a mirror three times, then you will die. So that's those are dangerous words. But yeah, you got you got to watch out for those curse wars though. Gotta watch out for those. Very, very harmful. Totally, totally more harmful than, like, uh, the Elsa Gate YouTube channels that don't have curse words. Those are good. They don't have curse words. That's what your kids should be watching. And playing mobile games. Gotcha games that enforce gambling and stuff like that. But curse words, oh. Get that stanky shit out of here. A lot of games like Warframe, uh, Destiny, and Anthem, they have they have a they have a they have a grind. They have a hell of a grind. But for some people, that's part of the fun. For some people, if you have a life or a social life, that's not. But I don't, so I don't mind it. I like it. I'm so glad that so that helmet looks stupid as hell if the faceplate is up. Let me see if I can bring it back down again. With the faceplate down, it looks cool, but with the faceplate up, it looks stupid. It looks like a... Like a Tour de France bike helmet. Here. 
See that? That's cool. That's not. Let's see if we got any worthwhile stuff in Forge. Check this out. Yeah, see, that looks nice. But you bring that faceplate up, it looks so stupid. <sighs> Alright. Let's go out for one more mission. What time is it? How long have we been streaming? Hour 20 minutes. Oh, not bad. Alright. I got time for one more mission. Let's do this. Or Stronghold. I want to get something with good loot. I think the Stronghold has the best loot. But we already played the Stronghold. There's only one in, in, in the in the uh, demo, I believe. So we're not going to do that again. Ooh, new support system. Ah, oh, glad I checked. Target beacon. Locks a target, then marks them. Marking the Yeah, th this is what I was talking about. This is amazing. So locks a target, then marks them, making them take 33% more damage. That's really, 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 really useful. Especially in team play. Uh, the Interceptor is incredible for DPS. It's got insane DPS. Highly recommended for that. It's it's really good for uh, PvE as well. I mean, team play. It's good for team play. It's good for team comp. A lot of people think that, oh, it's not good for team comp. It's selfish. It's quick. Quick things are selfish. CQC is selfish. It's not a healer. But it aids everybody else's DPS. It elevates their damage. So that's actually really useful. All right. Well, let's uh, quick play. Hopefully, this will be a different mission. What 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 else is there? Let's see. We just played the one with a the mech. There's a mission with. Are there just like three missions in this demo? I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take a chance. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers. I think there's one stronghold, but there's multiple missions. So, our best chance is to quick play a mission, because if we did the stronghold, it would be the same thing we started this live stream with. Nudweiser. In that case, I would recommend watching it full screen. And if you watch it full screen, then you give the game, the beautiful game, more real estate. Yeah, you start level 10 in the demo. No, you're not going to be able to carry over your character into the game. But, um, you get a vinyl. If you, if you play the demo, you get a blue vinyl. What, what's this? Do those things have helmets on? Oh my god, they do. It's actually kind of cute. Not even fighting back, poor bastards. Yeah, shoot the AFK guy. Here, I'll shoot a... I'll throw a flare at him. <laughs> Play with that, dick. <laughs> I just... Did I knock it over? No. Oh, this game would be so cool if it had, like, red faction destruction. Hold B and chain your dashes. Wait, what? Hold B and... Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't know that you could press into it. Wow. All right. Um. That's amazing. That's really cool. By the way, look at this water. It's kind of like the hot tub in Wonder Woman. That's fun. See what they got. Two rangers. I kind of like her, uh, her get up. Teal. I love teal. It's very 90s. It's like a solo cup. I like how alien planets sometimes just have plants from our world. Because people are like, that wouldn't exist. But it does. I'm about to skim some water. You cannot fly indefinitely. 
You, uh, you need to skim water to cool your engines down. Of course, if your engines are already overheated, it's not really going to do a lot unless you go through a waterfall, which I did not have near me. Where are we going? No, seriously, where are we going? My, uh, my... Wait, oh, there it is. Do I have enough? Barely. Oof. Man, I love the interceptor. Oh crap, they froze me. Storm, um, is that his name? Yeah, I think it's Storm. I don't know about that name. Um, Storm has elemental damage, so he can freeze people like that, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, I'll take melee any day. Oh my god, I need some health, man. That was so cool, I thought I was just gonna fall. <sighs> nice grapple. The more I play this game, the more I warm up to it. What's that? What? Is there a mage around here? That's a total destiny move. We don't know if the game has content yet. We won't know until the game releases if it has content. The developers have said that they're going to support the game a lot. Um, but the thing is... So, I've talked about this to death. However, I'm going to continue. The horse isn't quite dead. Destiny. They both start with a D, okay? The Division 2 and Anthem are coming out less than a month away from each other. So they are direct competitors. They're both looter shooters. They're both third-person shooters. They both have PvE. Uh, they're very similar. One's going to win. One game is going to sell more copies than the other. And... Oh, shit. Yes! <laughs> I will unleash upon you the wrath of a thousand winds! Be gone, vile peons! Be gone with you! Is that all of them? I almost feel like I wasted my ultimate, but there looked like there were so many. Where do they all go? Um, the Division 2 and Thumb, they're competing against each other, they're very similar to each other, one's gonna sell more than the other. Which one's gonna win? In my opinion, I'm really enjoying Anthem, but I think the Division is uh, the better value. I think there's gonna be more content in the Division. Again, these are my opinions. I know more about the Division than I, than I know about Anthem, but... I feel like the end game for The Division 2 is going to be better than the end game for Anthem. I also feel like the... or, no, this is objective. This this part isn't an opinion. Um, objectively, the gunplay in The Division is way better than Anthem. But, the abilities in Anthem are more fun than the abilities in The Division. In my opinion. That latter part is an opinion thing, but I'm pretty sure the latter is objective as well, because having these giant missile launchers, that's a little cooler than having, like, one RPG. You know what I mean? So, gunplay, division, by far. Abilities, anthem, because the bigger explosions are much cooler looking. The Division 2 has PvP, anthem does not. Anthem will probably get PvP at some point, maybe, but it may not be as good, because how do you balance something like this? Uh, the Division's map is more seamless. There's not as many loading screens. In fact, there's only one, and that's to get into the Dark Zone. Uh, there's three Dark Zones, three PvP areas. I think PvP is always going to be more fleshed out. In fact, I guarantee you PvP is always going to be more fleshed out in the Division as, as compared to Anthem. So if you ever think you'll want to play PvP, and that's important to you, Anthem may not be the game that you should buy. So... I don't know anything about the story of The Division 2. I haven't played any of that yet. I think I will soon. Um, I'm actually flying out to do more Division stuff at some point. But 
I've played the story of Anthem and it's not good. It, the, the writing is, is just... Don't expect Bioware writing. Expect... Division writing is that the is that what I'm looking for? It's no Mass Effect. It's no Knights of the Old Republic. It's no Dragon Age. It's uh, this isn't even our objective. What are we doing here? Warframe has, and people do forget about that, people have very selective memories. Uh, Warframe improved a lot um, over the past year or so, or two or three years really. It, it, it's been improving um, steadily for a couple of years now, but on launch it was not nearly as good as it is now. Not nearly. And every, everybody neglects to mention that, even I forgot to mention that. Same thing with The Division. People. It's funny, because people don't remember when Warframe was mediocre, but people remember uh, only when The Division was mediocre. So, people only remember the good with Warframe and forget the bad. People remember the bad with The Division 1 and forget the good. Uh, because The Division 1 pulled a Warframe, and the developers completely turned the game around. I stopped playing The Division because of all the problems that are now fixed. So... The Division 2 developers are more experienced than, than the developers of Anthem, and that's another thing that you should take into consideration when, you, uh, when you're when you looking to purchase uh, one of the games. Alright, let's see if I can remember this puzzle. So this is one of the puzzles. And, well, we got a minute. What are you talking about, Transonic? The the writing in the demo is the same writing that's going to be in the game. This isn't even a call of beta. If it was called a beta, that would mean it's unfinished. It's called a demo, which means this is a representation of the final product you're going to be buying. But um, it is true that there's not a whole lot of story content in the demo. But I also played the alpha. And I played a story mission in the alpha. And the Alpha did not have... The story mission wasn't great. So it could not be representative of the entire game, that's true. Maybe a couple of missions are bad, but the rest are amazing? But that's unlikely. What is this? See... Wh where's the hint? Is it just... Do we just have to brute force it? I've done this before, I just don't remember the order. It's like purple, red, yellow. Maybe it's, uh... Red, yellow, purple. But I don't see any clues around here. I don't see any engravings or etchings. I'm probably just missing it. Alright, let's see what we're doing over there. It's still blue? What are you doing? Maybe I'm the one that doesn't know what they're doing. Alright, so that's the wrong order. Uh, maybe this one needs to be purple and the other one needs to be yellow. Right, I'm just, I'm just going to let them play with it, because I think they know more than I do right now. But it is really interesting that they decided to call this a demo, because um, if they called it a beta, they could just have that disclaimer when the game starts saying, this is a beta. Things may not be... Uh... Hello? Sorry, one minute. Alright. 
thought it was a scam call. So I got this uh, scam call saying it was Verizon Wireless uh, a couple of weeks ago. And they were actually really fucking slick. It wasn't an American, so I was a little suspicious. But, um... Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, uh, let's see. What is it? What is it? What is it? You can hide stowed gun in settings. Oh, thank you. That's actually really dope. Hide holstered gear. There it is. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, that's the way to go. Thank you so much. Thank you about that. They did it! Or did they? Yes, yes they did. Good job. No, I know this can't be a beta because it's gotten gold, but that doesn't stop companies from calling it a beta. For the last five years, every demo has been called a beta. This is the first time in like five years that a, a demo has been called a demo. They've just been calling it betas for the last five years to, you know, scapegoat. Scapegoat. Under one of the bridges, there's a clue. Oh, okay, let's see. Damn it, too late. But a couple weeks ago, I got this call from Verizon uh, 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 Wireless, and they knew my name already. They knew a, a couple, a bunch of things about my account, but um, they said that my account was uh, was compromised and that I need to go on the website and everything. And um, they had a really slick uh, story, and I actually, I actually partially fell for it. I caught on later. I, I did catch on, and um, they called back a couple days later, and they said, hey, this is Fraud Pre Preventive Services, and I said, okay, uh, one second, uh, Verizon told me that I need to compare the numbers and make sure that the number that's calling me is the official fraud department, and they said, oh, that's, that's fine. And then they hung up, like, two seconds later. This bastards. They're getting smarter. They're they're really slick nowadays. I don't know how the I guess they what they do is they partially compromise your account And then instead of going all the way once it's partially compromised, but no flags have been raised They contact you and they use that information to make them seem legit so <sighs> Demo it's not a beta No, it's it, it's not a beta, but I'm saying what companies usually do is they usually call demos betas so if there's any issues they can just say oh it's a beta it's a beta forget about it if this was an invite only i would be way less harsh on the server problems that happened yesterday if this was an invite only um uh demo <laughs> like how we just like <laughs> Oh yes, muted, I can talk! If you want to see what they're saying to each other, just read the text. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, let's see our choices, okay. Zoe said, And the Sentinel Hayden's getting extra lumber support whether he likes it or not. It's an easy ad. The little things matter. Sounds like extra work. What are these choices? I'm hoping that you have real choices later. I, I'm gonna make a bet. I'm gonna make a bet that your choices don't matter. What am I betting? Nothing. Because... If, if I bet something cool, you guys will just find every little loophole that rope me in, but I guarantee you the choices don't mean a damn thing. People complained about the choices in Fallout 4. Look out, here comes Anthem. Small comforts make a big difference. Just skip that. Oh, we, we got another one. It's a great life. It's a dangerous life. What we do is important, but it's not easy. Or safe. Just what every mother wants to hear. Better to go in with eyes open. Then you have to decide if it's worth it. He's got time before it comes to that. You lot are his heroes. It's good to have heroes. Good to know they're just humans, too. There's a reason I like you. Go on then, hero. I'll be here. Yeah. And I'll be in the skies, watching you and your kid. In my shiny metal Iron Man suit. I don't know why they have choices. I would rather have better writing and no choices. than the, I mean, the choices are meaningless in the first place, so. As, as far as I can tell, again, 
asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. I should just put an asterisk in the in the in the live stream, and I can just point to it. Wherever it would be. Cluster mine looks nice. It deals a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna go for that. Well, no, it does. Wait, what? 820. Oh, well, it's a different type of damage, so it's not gonna look red. I guess, even though it is lower damage. All right, whatever. What's our strike? Tempest Strike! Powerful close-range melee strike that electrically charges the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, a uh, tip to any of you guys that aren't able to get in the game but are trying to get in the game. If it, if it's hanging on a loading screen for more than two minutes, restart because it's not gonna... Uh, it's, you're not gonna get in the game. It's, it's infinite. There's a lot of infinite loading issues. Actually, I beg to differ. Uh, none of the suits resemble Iron Man now. But did you see Nano Suit Iron Man in the latest Avengers movie? Give it a couple more Marvel movies, and the Iron Man suits are going to start looking like javelins. Incidentally enough, uh, I actually I hate the new Iron Man suit in Infinity War. I really don't like it, but... I like the javelins, so maybe I, they just need to, like, go full javelin, you know? They're, they're half javelin, half Iron Man right now, and it's just... Go one, go one way or the other. Say boy in a really deep voice. Actually, he said in a really deal voice, technically. Boy! Oh, boy, if you, uh, if you buy... If you buy, uh, not buy... If you pre-order Anthem, boy... You could get uh, early access and play first. If you can get in the server. That's my deal voice. Let's make a deal. Pre-order this game and you will get early access and you will play first. There go my chances to be an Anthem game changer. <laughs> um, no, if this was a private invite thing, if this VIP beta was invite only, then I wouldn't have any problems with what's happening to the servers because they're just testing things. But for them to advertise, pre-order this game to play it first, then they should pony up the cash and give a lot of extra servers. You know what I mean? The music's so damn good. If they're going to advertise and encourage people to buy the game so they can play it first, so they can play it early, then you should spend a little extra money and make sure you got overkill servers. An overkill amount of servers. Because it, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that they advertise it, you know? They, they made that a selling point, and people have uh, paid money to pre-order this game because they wanted to play it first. And a lot of those people are not able to play it first because of the server issues that are out of their control. That's not their fault. Boy! Fix your servers, boy! Atreus! Atreus! Where's my super suit, boy? You got a third javelin? How the hell did you get a third javelin? I do like the game in general. I actually really like the game in general, which is... Partially why I'm being so harsh on it, because there's a lot of things I really like, but it's so close. It's so close to being something that's really fun. Um, however, you want to make... This is a Bioware game, so some people, like Mass Effect fans, Dragon Age fans, Coder fans, they're going to buy it because it's Bioware and not uh, because this gameplay looks like something I like. And the people that are buying it because of their memories of the awesome stories in Mass Effect and not because of the gameplay, they're going to be disappointed if they don't care for the gameplay because the story isn't good enough uh, to buy it just for the story. I could have watched that overheating. I'm, a, I'm the type of person that likes to play on day one. Like, if... That's so cool. If I'm playing a game, uh, I, I, I'm excited. I want to play it day one. He looks like a Titanfall Titan. What's that? What did he drop? Um, 
but it may not be a bad idea to wait a couple of months and see if, if the developers can handle a game like this. You know, wait a couple of months, see if they're, uh, if they're doing well with patches, seeing if they're uh, fulfilling their promise to add more content to the game, stuff like that. Because there have been developers before that have said they'll do all those things, but they actually fell short. So, just to make sure that they don't, you could wait, and that's not a bad idea. I haven't encountered a lot of bugs. I've encountered a lot of server issues. And something that gives me pause is this is a closed demo. And they're having server issues. How are they going to be able to handle the open demo, which is going to have five, six times the amount of people? I don't know. They might have it all fixed by then and I'll eat crow. But no, no bugs. Maybe a minor bug or two here or there, but mainly... It's just been server issues, which is what you would rather have instead of bugs. In any case, that is it for me in this live stream. But thank you for joining me for this live stream of Anthem, where we had checked out the illustrious Interceptor, which is the best javelin suit in the game. If you have some goddamn faith, you would agree. You would see the light. Can we go over there? Is that closed off? We can, all right. No, we can't. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this. I'm going to have some cool, exclusive videos coming soon. And uh, some other videos I've been working on as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoyed yourselves, join our gang. We do a lot of streams like this, much more streams like this in the near future. And, uh, you can play in Anthem with me, you can play in The Division 2 with me. We'll squat up, we'll do some subscriber streams, and, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys again soon. But until then, game massively. And may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you always, son. Boy! <laughs> Atreus, turn the stream off, boy. See you guys. Can you spell Peter? Oh, can you say hey, Peter, for me? P hey, Peter. Is that like a... When you say it fast? Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. No, but it sounds weird. It's not like I'm saying... Dirty word. That's gonna make the Christian family shut the stream off. I guess your name's Peter. I guess that's why you wanted me to say that. Take care, guys. Oh, damn it, I meant to exit game. Are you sure you want to exit to main menu, or do you want to exit game? No, there's a little bit of parkour. A little bit of parkour, too. This is the longest exit I've ever had. Oh, say like the guy from Family Guy. I I don't know if I I could probably do a Peter, but I've never tried. Wait, did I? Oh God damn it! You know what? Control F. Control. I mean, can Alt does Alt F four work for 